Fox here reporting from CES 2011 and it's another busy day here and I'm going to give you a sample of the show floor this time around. All the crazy stuff that's going on here, really interesting devices. CES was full of new technologies and Verizon was no exception. They are pimping out their new LTE network and they're showing off new devices such as the MiFi and cool little tablets. And if you will, this is uh, Motorola's uh, uh, tablet entry into the device lineup that we announced this week. Uh, so this is the Zoom, spelled with an X, X-O-O-M. It's a 10.1 inch diagonal screen, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, resolution. Resolution is 1080p. I'm just going to unlock it here and show you some of the some of what the interface looks like. It's about a pound and a half. It's 700 grams. Um, go ahead and put your hands out there, and you can kind of see. It's not a feather, but it's not a brick. Um, very easy to hold. You, it it kind of is thick in the middle, and it tapers down on the sides. So it's very easy to hold in that, in that landscape mode. It bevels down. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's very much oriented in a landscape orientation by default. The camera is up at the top. Oh, yeah. That camera up at the top, by the way, is a 2-megapixel camera that you would be using for video chat. There's also a 5-megapixel camera on the back that will do high-def video capture at 720p. Under the hood, we've got the NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual-core dual core processor, so it's two 1-gig cores. We've got a gig of RAM in here and 32 gigs of internal storage. So that's all on board. Uh, this is going to have Wi-Fi. It's also going to support our 3G network, and it's going to be launched uh, sometime during the first quarter, just supporting Wi-Fi and 3G, and then sometime during the second quarter, a hardware update will be made available to also have it take advantage of our 4G network. Yes. It's not a download. Something has to be done to it. Uh, we haven't announced the procedure. That's not been finalized yet. But yeah, something has to be done to the device. But it's also it's not like turn this in. Get, get the 4G but it will be one. upgradable it, somehow. It'll be upgradable, exactly. The device That's itself fine. will yeah. become the 4G device. Fine. So you don't have to buy another unit. So you right, right. You don't right. have to wait for the 4G. Right, right. Just, no, I get it. We haven't announced price. That's always the last thing that we announce. Um, however, like I said, this is going to drop first quarter as a 3G device. So we're getting close, and I would say you'll hear about price you know, pretty much as soon as we're ready to launch it. Yeah, and actually what I'll do is I'll, I'll pick a longer video that shows more. Let me just. Uh, yeah. We were power? holding it. I didn't even look at the video. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Now I had read that that will also become a hotspot. Well, it's us. Uh, all of the feature sets haven't been finalized, uh, so I'm going to say that's to be determined. We'll end closer. We'll we'll know uh, if it's going to be available, and if so, how many devices it'll support. For example, um, since it hasn't been announced, I can't really comment on it. But can't this, wink. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I've had so much coffee this morning, I would say that any wink could be misinterpreted anyway. Uh, so we're just kind of taking a walk through the interface here in this video. Um, but, but yeah, so this is, uh, it's a really cool device. Uh, if you're on the bleeding edge and you got to have it first quarter like me, you know, I'm the, guy, I'm the kind of guy that I would buy it first quarter and then second quarter do the update. Um, if you're my wife, you'll wait till second quarter, buy it as a 4G device and give it to me for my birthday. Either way, I'm happy. And uh, once again, this is just one part of the phenomenal lineup that we announced this week. Four smartphones, two tablets, a netbook, a notebook, and two mobile hotspots. Wow. So, the, tablet, the, other tablet? the other tablet is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4G. A lot of interesting booths here at CES. Now you're going to Some see more interesting than others. Tilt this magic stick forward, Marada Boy, that goes from sends the command to Marada Boy using that Marada Bluetooth. There were a lot of companies demonstrating technologies that they have that are integrated into other products that don't necessarily make consumer products themselves, such as PrimeSense. They make the sensor that goes into the Connect. They themselves don't make a consumer product, although. Uh, there are going to be some third-party made products for the PC. Alcatel Lucent was also demonstrating technologies that they are capable of that are still not consumer products. 
such as this Android phone and iPhone working together with a very large um, touch tablet. Just went down, but I'm back up again. Now this is an interesting concept, utilizing their different technologies, where a person would go into a booth and get a body scan using structured light 3D scanning, which we covered in a previous episode. And then they'd be able to try out different outfits and things like that. You'd be able to pick out whatever kind of clothing that you want virtually online and rotate your model, you know, 360 degrees, see how it looked. Then you could talk live video conferencing with a fashion expert and they could kind of help you make decisions. And the idea is they'd follow you around so that same consultant would be there at the store or you could be at home and they'd be able to help you out. They're also showing off uh, a pimped out Prius <laughs> with all kinds of hookups for LTE and multiple screens everywhere in the vehicle. This is an interesting product for people that are out in the wilderness and they need to send out an SOS message via satellite. So basically once you go in and download the app, which is free when you purchase the device, and then allow you to send messages via Bluetooth from your phone outside of cell phone coverage to our Connect device, which then routes it over our satellite network. A lot of interesting concept cars at the show. There's an LTE boxy box, not for sale. And T-Link had a crazy booth with a guy that was living in a glass cage. Well, he only went home for the night because the security kicked him out. But other than that, he was living inside of this hot spot with all the latest T-Link products. So it's just basically you're just a you're a groupie. I guess. Yeah, there you go. The techno groupie. Yeah, so uh, a lot of people are saying this year isn't as interesting as previous years, but there's a lot more real products that are coming out as opposed to vaporware. And some of the vaporware stuff's pretty cool, too. Anyways, if you like these shows, uh, keep watching the channel here, wherever you're catching this, at twosmartguys.com slash CES, um, or my YouTube channel. I'm YouTube slash TOX98. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at Walking Crow. And uh, if you need online backup, um, iOmega's got a pretty good product back there. But if you want to back up to the cloud, Mosey has got a really great product. And if you use our code too smart, you will save 15% um, every, every month on your order. So it's like a really good deal. Just use our code too smart and save. We'll see you guys later. Thanks. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.